Welcome back to the channel. About time I gave you an update on the BMW. Uh, it's just had a suspension service. You can see it's still up on trucks. I've supported by the foot pegs. Um, jacked it up. You can see the rear stand. It's higher than what the rear stand would allow. And this is fully drooped down so that I could pull that rear shock out. Forks got serviced as well. So it's time to get it back down, get it back together, get ready for the next track day. Other thing I've got to do, the old radiator guard that I took out last year has to go back in. So I'll get that done at the same time. Now, a few things with the suspension. When you take the forks out, make sure that you don't over tighten these two and these two. If you do over tighten them, it compresses the inside of the fork, which means that while your seals are inside, they're sliding up past that point. If they, if this is too tight, they will grab at that point, which means your suspension won't work too well. And also it'll increase the wear on any seals that are going past that point. So make sure that those don't get over tightened. I think they, on this one, it's about 20 newton meters per bolt. And also, do the top one, do the bottom one, do the top one again, bottom one. So basically three times on each one, alternating between the two on each side at 20 newton meters. Because as one clamps up, the other one will lo loosen off. And in today's episode of Things I Wished I Knew When I Started, there's a little E-clip on that bolt. If you back this nut off just enough, you can slide that out and everything will come off because it's just a shoulder bolt, which would be a lot easier than taking the whole nut out and having to restack the whole, all the items that go onto it. So, yeah doing this at home uh, just loosen that off a bit pull that e-clip e-clip do it on both sides everything can slide off that bolt And the next track day that I've got booked um, in, I'm probably just doing coaching. So I'll probably use the tyres that are on it. They still have plenty of meat on them, front and rear. There's a wear marker on that side, wear marker on that side. So probably still half tread. These will be good now. Again, going back to the suspension. Uh, we found a few interesting little issues uh, with it my spring rates in here they're a little bit far apart from each other they are set up for my weight which is a good thing um, but I think they're supposed to be 10.75 so usually you'd put a 10.5 and 11 in and I think what we have is a 10 and an 11 and a half so a little bit too far away even though they do even out to the same thing now that may 
cause a little bit of imbalance and force in each of the legs, but apparently that's still it's still not too bad. But yeah, it, if I do end up ever having to change suspension out, I'll get the right set of springs so they are a bit closely, a bit more closely balanced. The other thing we found was the fork. Um, I was getting when I'm riding, my front wheel doesn't seem to dig in quite as far as hard as I was used to with my old ZX10R. It always felt a little bit light on the front end. Now this bike is set up very long already. It's right at the back of the stops on the rear end. The shock is a bit on the long side, so it is already raked forward a bit. Um, and so it should be set up in a way that it does turn nicely um, and does have a lot of weight on the front wheel. So I, I would expect it to dig in a lot more than it currently does. So when we looked at the, we kind of baselined all the fork settings. We found out that my rebound is probably set way too light. So basically what's happening is I dig it into the, into the ground on braking and as I'm letting off that brake, it's releasing that weight on the front wheel quicker than we need it to. So if we can slow that down a bit, keep that pressure on there just for a little bit longer. Hopefully that means it doesn't feel quite as floaty in the corners. Now this is what we're gonna try out the next one of the next track days. I'm actually going to get um, someone up there to help me, preferably Alex from Road to Race again. And we're going to go through, play with all the clickers, see if we can get that front end feel back to what I was used to when I used to race quite a few years back. So that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching this update and how the BMW is going. Keep it rubber side down. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.